Hi. Welcome to A to Z Immigration Updates. In our series, Pathway to Canada Immigration for Skilled Professionals and Trade Workers, we are here again with a new video on another skill profile. Our today's video is about the profile of library and public archive technicians. If you are a library and public archive technicians and willing to work and settle in Canada, then this video is a must-watch video for you. In this video, we will provide you with precise, accurate, and most important employment-related information regarding the profile of library and public archive technicians. If you want to watch a video on any other profile, then please comment us with your profile title. So, that we can make and share a video for you. This video is also available in Hindi and you can click the link in the description to watch it in Hindi. In this video, we will discuss regarding National Occupation Classification or simply saying NOC code, profile description, and key responsibility areas of a library and public archive technicians in Canada. Then we will see the skill set and license requirements for library and public archive technicians. The next thing to discuss is the alternative, illustrative job titles and the job titles those are in exclusion to library and public archive technicians. After this, we will see the education and other certification requirements for library and public archive technicians. We will also provide you the information regarding the median age and retirement age of library and public archive technicians. In the next phase of the video, we will see the career scope of library and public archive technicians in Canada. We will see the current professional employment count, job openings in Canada and also in the different provinces. The last but the most important factor that we will discuss in this video is the average, maximum and minimum, hourly, or weekly wage rate in different provinces of Canada for the profile of library and public archive technicians. Other than the profile details we will also provide you with a brief explanation of the different visa opportunities and immigration pathways to get settled in Canada. So, we request you to watch this video till the end and also to share this video with your friends. First of all, we will see the profile description. There is a well-defined profile description for each profession in Canada. This description provides a brief detail about the key responsibilities of the particular profession, work areas, and industrial sectors where a professional can work. So let's see your profile description now. The National Occupation Code or NOC Code for the Profile of Library and Public Archive Technicians is NOC 5211. As per Statistics Canada the profile description of library and public archive technicians is as follows, library and public archive technicians assist users in accessing library or archive resources, assist in describing new acquisitions, participate in archive processing and storage, and conduct reference searches. They are employed by libraries and public archives. Human Resources and Skill Development Canada has defined a proper set of job roles for every NOC code. There is not any fixed guideline for meeting all the requirements. As per the recommendation of experts a person should meet at least 50% of the job responsibilities, mentioned in the NOC code. Now let's discuss the key job responsibilities associated with your profile. So, here we go, main job duties of library and public archive technicians, library technicians. Assist library users in accessing books, films, photographs, maps, documents, electronic materials and other library materials. Catalogue new library acquisitions under the direction of a librarian. For all the job duties click on the i button. Every job has a specific set of employment requirements associated with it. The main employment requirements factors include type and level of formal education, specific training or apprenticeship, experience in the same or other related occupations, licenses certification and registration to practice in a regulated profession, extra. Before moving further let's understand the employment eligibility requirements and other additional information associated with your profile. Education requirements for library and public archive technicians. Library technicians usually require completion of a two to three year college program in library and information technology. 
Public archive technicians require completion of a college diploma or certificate program in archive and document management technology. For every profile, a well-defined skill set is also described by Human Resources and Skill Development Canada. To get a job in your profile you must be proficient in most of the skills mentioned for a specific profile. Assist librarians in giving tours and providing children's and other specialized library programs. Perform manual and online reference searches and make interlibrary loans for users. Catalog new library acquisitions under the direction of a librarian. Assist library users in accessing basic library materials. For all the skills click on the i button. There are few profiles for which a professional must have registration or license approved by a specific board or licensing body. In different provinces, these requirements for the registration and licensing for some specific profiles can be different. Let's see what are the profile requirements for your case. We don't have any data on professional certification requirements. This occupation is not regulated in Canada based on our records. In Canada, anyone with the age of 16 years or more can be part of the Canadian workforce in different professional areas. Every profession needs some specific set of knowledge, physical and mental strength, and field exposure of years which finally conclude to the median age and retirement age of all the workforce for that particular profile. This age is calculated from the surveys done by the Statistics Canada for each profile on regular basis. So let's see the basic median age for this profile. The median age for the profile of library and public archive technicians is 40 and the general retirement age for library and public archive technicians is 64. You must be eager to know about the exact job scope and demand in Canada for professionals in your profile. So. Now we will see the total number of professionals currently working on this profile in Canada. We will also see the average available job openings for your profile. The total number of professionals working as a library and public archive technicians in Canada is 13,700. The top three states with a maximum count of professionals for library and public archive technicians is Quebec, Saskatchewan, Nova Scotia. Total number of currently available job openings in Canada is 6. The demand for professionals in different provinces of Canada can vary according to the employment opportunities and industries count available in the particular region. So now we will see the list of provinces in the order of the number of job openings in your particular profile. As per the recent data provided by jobank.gc.ca, Quebec is at the top of the list with a total of three job openings on the profile of library and public archive technicians and Nova Scotia has the least opportunities available for library and public archive technicians, with a count of one. We have also prepared a detailed video regarding the province-wise analytical review for available job opportunities in your profile. You can click the i button, or the link in the description, to watch this province ranking video. In the next section, we will discuss the most awaited employment parameter that is the wage rate for a profession. As per the recently available data regarding the wages with the jobank.gc.ca we have analyzed the minimum, maximum, and median wage rate for your profile in Canada. So here are the details regarding your profile. In Canada, a library and public archive technicians earns 25 Canadian dollars as an average median salary per hour. The maximum recorded salary in Canada for your profile, as on date of the recording of this video is 33 Canadian dollars and the minimum wage rate is 16 Canadian dollars. The province of Ontario is on the top of the salary chart with the highest salary and Manitoba is the province with the least wage rate for the profile of library and public archive technicians. Also, 
Check our other video with the detailed wage-wise ranking for all the available provinces throughout Canada. In this video, you will get the details regarding the wage rate for your profile in all the provinces of Canada. Every job role or employment can have multiple profile titles, and you won't be able to identify your profile title between them. So if you do not need to be worried if you are unable to find the exact job title for your profile. We'll now look over your profile's list of illustrative and alternate titles. This section is a list of common job titles. We'll also see your exclusions list, which is a list of titles that your profile doesn't cover. Let us have a glance at it now. The illustrative titles for the profile of library and public archive technicians are as follows. Archive technician, library technician, technical indexer, library. The list is pretty long. You can use the I button to see all the illustrative profile titles. Let's check the exclusion list now. Archivists, librarians, library assistants and clerks. As the list is quite long, you can use the I button to see all the excluded profile titles. Immigration Pathways For the Canada Immigration Aspirants, we have developed a dedicated video, where you can get the details regarding the possible visa options through which a professional can file direct permanent residency, work visa, or can settle in Canada after the study visa. If you are interested in any one of these options, then you can click the link in the description to watch this video. Canada Immigration Services by Brain Drain Consultants Private Limited. We at Brain Drain Consultants Private Limited provide a one-stop online platform with all kinds of immigration services and consultation by experts for our global customers. You can have online consultancy sessions, assessment application filing, and all kinds of immigration visa processing assistance by our team of experts. We assist our customers in employment, work permit, and job search. Canadian style resumes and cover letter preparation. Assistance in the suitable program search and PR filing. All types of assistance in study visa filing. If you need any assistance related to your immigration dreams, then you can book an expert consultation session with our team of experienced migration consultants. Our team will study your profile and will discuss all your circumstances. Accordingly, we will help you to explore the employment, work visa, and other immigration opportunities for your profile in Canada. This expert session will help you to discover the genuinely possible immigration options for you. We will tell you the truth with real facts and figures. So, click on the booking link mentioned in the description to reserve an expert session for a detailed discussion to explore your immigration opportunities. To do a self-assessment and check your eligibility for immigration, click on the link attached in the description and download our immigration app. We also assist employers to file LMIA with Employment and Social Development Canada ESDC. If you are an employer in Canada then you can contact us to avail of our services to hire the best manpower and for filing their LMIA application or work visa. I hope you must have gained a lot of useful information from this video. If you further wish to explore more related to global immigration options for you then don't forget to subscribe, like, and share our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Also, hit the bell icon to get the most updated information regarding global immigration. Thanks, and we will meet again with one another informative video soon.